Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going through Cambridge Primary Checkpoint Mathematics Paper 2 from April 2024 paper. Um, and this is a paper that uh, you can use calculator and total marks for this paper is 40 and uh, time to complete this paper is 45 minutes, right. So, let us start with question number 1 here as you can see we have here. Uh, this 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5. So, uh, for that we have to take the LCM. So, LCM is 15, right. So, now this should be made the same as 15. So, 5 times 3 is 15. So, 3 times 5. I am going to multiply by 5 here. Same I am going to do with the numerator and denominator here we are multiplying by 3 and numerator also multiplying by 3. So, 5 times 1 times 5 it will be 5. Uh, minus then it is 3, 5 minus 3 it is 2 over 15. So, 2 over 15 is our final answer, right. So, we will write, remember to write down that in the space provided, right. Here, here is the uh, rectangle drawn on a dotted grid of squares, one of the vertices is, is labeled as A. So, this is the vertex which is labeled as A. Uh, so, let us see what is the question. The rectangle is rotated 90 degrees clockwise around vertex x. Draw the uh, rectangle in its new position. So, uh, when, once you see this thing will come down here as we are rotating from here. So, then this is going to like you see we have here 1, 2 and 3 dots. So, 1, 2 and 3 it will come up to here. So, the new shape is going to come over here like this. So, this is our new shape after the rotation of 90 degrees clockwise. Okay. Number 3 here are some numbers 3 over 4 45 percent 0 0.6 percent right each number in box to make the statement correct. So, first of all you need to know you can easily use calculator 3 divided by 4 I have just uh, used the calculator and I got here 0 0.75 and 45 percent we are going to get 0 0.45 and 0 0.5 to convert it into uh, it is already in decimal. So, 0 0.60. Now, you see uh, the whole part is 0 here everywhere. So, we are just going to compare the uh, decimal part. So, this decimal part the smallest one is here is 45. So, that means this is going to be at number 1 and then 45 is less than this 60 0 0.60 then number 3 is going to be this. Remember that you are going to write down uh, the uh, this uh, uh, what you call the original number whether it is fraction or percentage that is what you are going to write down. The first one is 45 percent. So, we will write down here 45 percent then number 2 we have 0 0.6 and number 3 we have 3 over 4. I mean to say you are not going to write 0 0.75 you have to write down whatever originally was given to you. Okay. Now, number 4 Wow, nice question. Uh, we have so many cats here. Uh, Pere has six cats. There are six cats. The card shows the age of each cat in years. So, this card shows the age. This is seven years, four years, three years, two, four and four. Find the question, uh, sorry, the, write the range of the ages of the cats. So, age is uh, maximum value minus, uh, sorry, range is maximum value of the age minus minimum value. As you see that maximum age we have here is 7 and the minimum is 2. So, 7 minus 2 it is 5. So, final answer is 5 years. Now, number 5, here is a picture of a jug with water inside. So, you can see there is a water level we have shown here. Uh, write the word capacity or volume in each space to complete the sentence. So, the first one the dash of jug is greater than the dash of water. So, container, container always has a capacity. So, jug has a capacity. So, we will write down here capacity. the capacity of the jug is greater than volume of water, 
volume of water right the dash of water is 0 0.6 as you i told you the this is the thing uh, water inside so that is going to be the volume because we are not talking about now the container so this is going to be volume the dash of jug is 1 liter so that is capacity capacity of jug is 1 liters right now number 6 here is some data about the number of books the children in two classes read in a month uh, the data from class r is recorded in the table uh, that is number of books read in uh, read by children in class R. So, this is the information of class R. Data from class T is recorded in the pie chart. So, we have the pie chart here. So, we have here 0 books, 1 book, 2, 3 books. Gabriella wants to compare the number of children in each class who read 2 books in a month. Write one extra piece of information Gabriella needs to know. So, now to compare any two kind of um, uh, information, any kind of data, you need to know the total. So, here if you can see in class R, <coughs> we have the number of children. As you can see, we have the numbers here. So, 3, 8, 12, 7. <coughs> so, we can find out the total number. But if you look at the pie chart, in pie chart, we are not going to uh, we do not have the actual uh, total number here. So, we must know, uh, she must know the total number of children in class R. So, we can write down here how to put this, the total number of children, total number of children in class T. So, that we can find half of it right to compare the information. Now, question number 7 here is a circle the center is uh, marked this is the center you see this is the line here. <coughs> Draw the line uh, to match each label to correct part of the pie chart. So, we have a radius here. as you know that radius is the line that touches circle uh, circumference of the circle and the radius. So, we are going to put line to this radius here ok. Then the circumference, circumference is this one like all around the circle the outer part and the diameter is this dotted one which is like the line joining the end points of the circle passing through the center right. Number 8, write the correct number in each box to uh, complete the calculation. We have 46 times 34. So, this can be splitted, right? Actually, six, 46 times 34 can be written 30 plus 4, that makes 34. So, then this 46 times 30 will come over here. Then we have 46 times 4. So, we will write down here 46. Okay. Now, number 9. Some children try to describe pair of mutually exclusive events, uh, mutually exclusive events. Uh, the question is to call the children who correctly describe the mutually exclusive events. So, uh, here you can say I arrive early for school, I arrive late for school. So, this is mutually exclusive, they are independent on time, right. So, then this is the one that we are looking for, I walk forward, I walk quickly. So, there are two different things like, so it cannot be. Then I finish my homework, I do not finish my homework. Either of these can happen together, uh, none of uh, both cannot happen together. So, this is the one mutually exclusive, then I can walk, I can talk. So, these both can happen together. So, this is not mutually exclusive event. Now, number 10, we have write two digits, two digit no, uh, number ending in 7, uh, that is a prime number. So, we are looking for a number that ends with 7, but it is a prime number also. So, we have 17 is the number that is prime and end with 7. Write two digit number that ending in 7 and is not prime. So, two digit number it is a 27 because this is divisible by 3. So, this is not divisible uh, a prime number. 
Now, number 11, here are 4 quadrilaterals drawn on a dotted grid square. You can see we have the quadrilateral. The quadrilaterals are labeled as A, B, C, D, E. Write down the letter of the correct quadrilateral next to each. Uh, now, the first one, the shape has no line of symmetry. The shape has no line of symmetry. If you can see here, uh, we have this C uh, uh, shape which does not have any line of symmetry. The shape has no parallel lines. So, which shape does not have here? If you see this D part, D, D shape does not have any parallel line. So, we will write down D here. Uh, the shape A has pair of parallel, uh, sorry, and the shape has one pair of parallel line. So, one pair of parallel line is in A. B has two pair of parallel lines. So, we will just write down A over here with the one parallel line, right. So, I hope you guys understood this one, right. Now, next one, number 12, Safiya collects information. Uh, about each child in her class, draw a ring around the set of data that does not have a median. So, here uh, the number of days till next birthday, number of days can be counted, so it can have median. Color of eyes, color of eyes, it does not give you any uh, quantitative data, so this uh, it will not be easy, uh, it is not possible to find out. Uh, uh, the median of this color of eyes is not a number height in centimeter is also a number so uh, we can find median number of pets will also be a number and can be find out the median so it's very like simple question with common sense uh, here is Safia's data about number of pets here are the number of pets calculate the mean number of pets to find out the mean we are going to add all of them 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 for all add all the numbers then you divide it by the number of numbers so let's see how many are they they are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so divide by 10 so just add it by the calculators 20 over 10 so final answer is 2 right now number 13 Tick all the statements that are equivalent to 42.573. So, you have to be very careful writing this, uh, not doing any mistake. So, like this is 42 ones plus it will be 0 0.573, right. So, this will come out to be this one. So, uh, this is which is equivalent to 42.573. This is 425 tenths. 425 tenths means uh, it is uh, 425 tenths means over 10 then plus 73 hundreds 73 divided by 100. So, this is not going to come to that one. So, that is not the answer 4 tenths 4 tenths is 40 2 ones is 42 and 57 hundred is 57 over 100 uh, and 3 thousands means 1 of 1000. If you do this, this is going to be 42.573, which is equivalent to that. So, this is correct. Um, then 42 ones plus 57 tenths, 57 over 10 and 3 thousandths is like this. So, when you do this, this is not going to come equal. So, that is not the uh, correct answer. Uh, so, the next one is 4 tenths. 4 tenths is uh, 4 tenths is 40, 2 ones is 2 and 5 tenths is 5 over 10. Then we have 7 hundredths, then we have 3 thousandths. So, as you can see, this will be 42.573. Uh, so, this is also correct, right. So, go one by one to uh, choose these uh, correct number of the, the number that you are going to get after the calculation right now number 14 a bag contains exactly one white ball one gray one black and one striped ball so you can see we have the balls here eva picks one uh, ball at random draw a line to match each event to the correct probability right the ball is white white we have one white ball out of how many four so one over four is 0 0.25 so, we will match this to 0 0.25, 1 out of 4 or oh, ok, no need to do this, 1 out of 4 we have here, 
ok. The ball is not striped, ball is not striped is means they are three ball. So, uh, other three balls other than this one. So, that will be 3 over 4. So, 3 over 4, 3 over 4 that is 3 quarter, 3 quarter is 75 percent here ok. Now, the ball is either grey or white, there is one grey ball and one white ball. So, that means 2 out of 4 right, 2 out of 4 is 2 over 4 which is a half, half is 1 out of 2 this one. The ball is yellow, there is no yellow ball. So, that will be 0 percent right. Now, number 15, 2 horses need 36,000 kg of hay each year right, 35 kilograms of hay each year. Calculate the amount of hay that uh, 7 horses need each year. So, uh, 2 horses, 2 horses needs uh, 36,000 kilogram of hay each year right. So, one horse will need lesser. So, that means 36,000 divided by 2 which is 18,000 kilograms right. Now, we are looking for the 7 horses. 7 horses if one horse gets 18,000, 7 are going to get 18,000 times 7. So, which is 126, then there should be 3 zeros, 126,000 right. Now, number 16, here are 25 small triangles. So, we can see there are triangles 25, we are given the number. A fraction of the small triangle uh, have a dot inside. You can see there are some triangles with dots and some are without dots. Uh, draw a ring around each number that is equivalent to this fraction. So, we will count how many uh, a fraction that is small triangle have a dot. So, we are looking for the number uh, of the triangles that have dot. So, we have 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, we have 12 triangles with dots out of 25. So, 12 over 25 once you divide it is 0 0.48. So, we are going to uh, uh, circle this one and also 48 percent if you multiply this by 100 this will become 48 percent and 12 of 25 we already got it. So, these are all fractions that are equivalent to that one. Now, Hassan makes a sequence by have, having a uh, square number. So, square number is being halved right. Uh, ha he records the number uh, in a position two term table right. Here the position number then the term first position half, second position term is two. So, and so on write down the eighth term. So, if you see here the rule is given by halving the square half of the square. So, first term the square is one square, one square half of it that is half uh, one over two. So, 2 second term is 2 square, 2 square is 4, 4 divided by uh, 2 is 2 right. Then 3 square is 9, 9 divided by then 2 is 4 and a half and then like this 4 square is 16, 16 divided by 2 is 18. So, we are talking about eighth term. So, we are going to square, square is 8 times is 64 then divided by 2 half of that is 32. So, the answer is going to be 30 two for this question right. So, that is it for this video. I hope you guys understood remaining question we are going to do in the next video. Thank you so much guys kindly subscribe to the channel. If you want more videos on that press the like button and let me know in the comment section because sometime I feel not to do these question. If you really need them please let me know that you need uh, these past paper videos. Thank you so much kindly subscribe and share it with your friends. Be blessed guys.